بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Those waiting for Imam Al-Asr عجل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف are recognized as the brothers of the Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم Imam Mahdi's actual name is Muhammad given by the Holy Prophet صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم We are told not to address or even to write the name of the Imam in full. That is the reason why it has been written hyphenated in this text. The Prophet ﷺ has said, His name is my name. His title is my title. And like the Prophet, his title too is Abu Qasim. Other titles include Abu Saleh, Abu Abdullah, Abu Ibrahim, Abu Jafar, Abu Hassan, and many more. Among the most popular of the Imam's titles is Mahdi, means someone who has been guided by Allah the Almighty. And Imam as Sadiq has said, he is known as Mahdi because he guides mankind to the lost matters, the lost moral values, and to the lost command. Our fifth Imam Baqir salam, has said, He is named Mahdi because he will guide to a hidden matter, and that is the true Islam. Qa'im is another title which means someone who rises rightfully. The Holy Prophet وسلم, has said, He is named Qa'im because he will rise after his forgotten name. Our ninth Imam Jawad السلام, in reply to why is he named as Qa'im has said, when his followers have turned away from him and when his name, his Imam and the religion of God will be forgotten, he will rise to put things right. Baqiyatullah is another title. It is reported that when the Imam arrives, he will stand with his back on Kaaba and 313 of his immediate helpers will gather around him. He will first recite this verse when he arrives. Baqiyatullah khayrun lakum in kuntum mu'mineen. What remains with Allah is better for you if you are believers. Thumma yaqul ana baqiyatullah he will then say, I am Baqiyatullah and his argument and his caliph to you. He will then be addressed as As-salamu alayka ya Baqiyatullah fi arwi. Salam be upon you, O representative of Allah in his land. Imam Sadiq has said, One who dies while waiting for the Imam is like someone in the camp of Qa'im. Imam paused for a while and said, No, indeed he is like someone who fights in the way of Mahdi. He then said, No, no, by God, he is like someone who has been martyred serving the Prophet In the presence of his companions, one day the Holy Prophet repeated twice, Allahumma laqini ikhwat. O Allah, make me meet my brothers. The Sahaba said, Are we not your brothers? In reply, the Prophet said, No, 
you are my companions. My brothers are the people who will exist in the end of time, who will have faith in me although they have not seen me. God has made them known to me before their birth. Their being steadfast and firm in their religion is tougher than clearing a tree full of thorns with one's hand in a dark night and is like holding flares of fire in one's palm. They are the torches in dark nights. The Almighty God will protect them from every conspiracy. The Almighty in Quran says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu sbiru wa sabiru wa rabitu wa attaqu Allah la'allakum tuflihoon O you who believe, in the era of occultation be patient and excel in patience and remain steadfast with the Imam of time and be careful of your duty to Allah that you may be successful. Having a relationship with the Imam of Time is an obligation. If we have no relationship with the Imam, we cannot know him. As a result, we'll get trapped in the fire of ignorance, love for this world, carnal desires and ultimately slavery of shaitan. The Imams, they have said, people of the era of occultation who wait for the Imam and have faith in him are better than the people of other times as God has blessed them with the intellect, understanding and knowing. For them, Ghaibat is like Zuhur, that is for them the period of occultation is like the period of the Imam. The Almighty will elevate their rank to someone who fights alongside the Prophet. In fact, they have pure intentions. They are our sincere Shias. In hiding and in the open, they invite people towards Allah. No doubt the Prophet has said, Allahumma laqqini akhwati O Allah, make me meet my brothers Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala muhammad Allahumma ka li walika hujjat ibn al-hasan salawatuka عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا ناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا